Hello friends, let's learn planning in Design Studio Unit 5 continuing to our course. This is the last unit of this advanced uh, Design Studio 1.6 course. In this uh, video we will see means how planning can be used um, in Design Studio. So basically planning functions or planning sequences are being created in SAP BW and uh, to edit and uh, get the general information. So uh, those who are familiar with these planning functions in SAP BW will understand what is this planning. So this planning can be used in uh, SAP uh, Design Studio 1.6. So where these planning functions can be made input ready query. Uh, so uh, it can be set by uh, in, in the in the script. So whether this property of the start query and change mode is set in the uh, uh, Business Explorer query designer or not. So. Uh, so whenever we create any planning application, we will see means the properties of the application um, uh, we need to change it to as a planning connection. So uh, whenever we create any data source and uh, so that um, it will understand that this is a planning application. So uh, the spreadsheet and cross tab are the two components which are available for the value inputs means users can enter the value and save um, uh, the planning data um, at, at runtime whenever the uh, user runs the analysis application. So there are different different functions which are available for uh, planning uh, usage means uh, it can be is input ready uh, check means first thing is we need to make it as input ready before making any changes then we need we need to make it a save means we can check the last save state we can make the last uh, recalculated uh, state with this uh, client reset function. We can execute your function, uh, means planning function. We can execute the sequence as well with the execute function. We can set variable exter value external uh, with the planning function. And we also can change the, check the changes. We can uh, see the unsaved changes as well. So it means we can change a uh, check if, if it has been unsaved changes, then we can make it uh, uh, saved uh, like that. So these are the different different functions means we can make the, the various buttons available on the on the application and on these buttons we can write uh, these functions like suppose for uh, uh, saving um, we can use planning dot save function uh, reset we can use client reset function. Uh, to check the status we can uh, use uh, state function so these are the different different functions which can be used for the planning purpose and um, so I'll be taking a practical example how we can implement this uh, I hope um, you have understood uh, this concepts related to the planning um, if you have any questions then please put it in the comment section if you like my video then please like it and subscribe to my channel as well thank you for watching